So, like I've said before, we had almost no winter last winter. I don't think I had to shovel once. And even though we did have a decent amount of rain over the spring, here it is, late May, it's Memorial Day weekend. And I, I don't know what day in a row this is that we've had just absolutely beautiful weather. And I wanted to come out today to Strasburg. Uh, I've been out here before. I did the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania back in the wintertime. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I loved, I had to do two videos there because of the, uh, all the stuff that's on the inside and all the, all the uh, things you can see on the outside as well. As you can hear in the background, a, uh, a train whistle. And today is, or, or this weekend is really special because this is the last weekend that Norfolk and Western 611 is going to be here at Strasburg. After this week, after the holiday, she's gonna go back to her home down in Virginia. And there's another locomotive here. I uh, forget the name, of it. it's a 475, and that's here as well. And they are both, both locomotives are running, taking passengers back and forth along this uh, rail line here in Strasburg, all the way out to Paradise, where Nick and I have uh, done some rail fanning and stuff. And I was actually here yesterday as well. I brought Melanie down, we rode behind 611. We did the open air car, which is actually what I'm going to be doing again today. I'm going to be riding here at 11:30, and I don't know if anyone else is coming. I think RJ may be here. I think Nick may be coming back today, so I'm not sure. I may even come back tomorrow for a third day to try to get as much as I can. Like I said, when you got days like today, you take advantage of it. I was on the scooter this morning on the Northwest River Trail and had a great time earlier this morning. over here real quick so we got 475 looks like it's gonna be the first train coming down I gotta make my way down to <clears throat> I think I gotta be in between platform six and seven because uh, right now we have Norfolk and Western 475 is getting ready to depart. And then down the line there, I can't really see it, is uh, 611 hooked up to its cars as well. And over to my left here, they are rehearsing for uh, Bonnie and Clyde performance uh, that they're going to do later.
See how close to the front we can get. Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> As you can see, this is a very popular ride. Uh, you saw all the different um, rail fans at the different intersections on the roads, uh, taking pictures of their camera and filming. I'm gonna be doing that later. I'm probably gonna head down to Paradise here, which is where we are uh, parked at. And we uh, we might be seeing another Amtrak. We saw one go by already. And uh, yeah, this should be pretty cool. It's been a beautiful day today. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna come back tomorrow. So might as well take advantage of the nice weather and the uh, three day weekend. So just to put it a little in perspective of just how big this steam locomotive is, this guy's standing right pretty much with inside the, uh, the front piston there. Those wheels are as big as he is, if not bigger. Just massive.
Well, I think this is as good a shot as I'm going to get of 611. Just a beautiful engine. Joining me today, all the way. Yeah, <laughs> hour and a half driving yeah. out here <laughs> just for this. I texted Randy. Uh, I was texting RJ earlier and uh, was wondering if he was going to be coming down today. And he said that uh, he wasn't going to be able to make it, but that uh, Randy was going to be coming here today. So uh, we linked up, and uh, I had just gotten off uh, riding behind 611 uh, myself. Once this pulls out, him and I are going to head down to the uh, Red Caboose area and uh, catch some more action of the train going by and possibly get something to eat. I know I'm pretty hungry. I don't think he's eating yet, so. No, I didn't eat. <laughs> you, know, you know me, when we get together, we gotta find, you know, where do we always, oh yeah, first yeah. item of business is <laughs> where are we eating? Exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, this is pretty special. Uh, like I said earlier, she's going back to Virginia here. Uh, I wanna see either this coming week or next week. And uh, they are going to be releasing uh, the, uh, some kind of statement uh, regarding 611 here. I'm not sure what is uh, what they have planned for it. Needless to say, that definitely hit the spot. Randy and I came down here to the uh, Red Caboose Motel. They have a restaurant on the inside. Uh, I think Randy had a really uh, good burger. And then I had a uh, ham and cheese panini that was uh, pretty pretty awesome. But we're down here just hanging out. Uh, Randy's getting the uh, little bird out and I'm uh, gonna send it up in the air and catch some more train action going by. And then I'm gonna be heading out for the day. I drifted over a little bit. <laughs> it did. And I didn't have it drifted like that. It was just the wind doing that. Oh, I can't. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> 